How to be a better human. It's not like another self-improvement podcast, right? Each episode actually dives into unexpected places for new ways to improve and show up for one another. Take a listen. I think this idea that you know we need to be happy all the time would just be psychologically and, and evolutionarily it would be terrible for us, right? Like we'd be missing out on these signals that tell us what we need. And so I think what we what we need to do and what I preach a lot in the class isn't, you know, happiness isn't about being happy all the time. It's kind of having the normative emotions that come up based on situations. Oh, so refreshing to hear. So whether it be at work or at home or in your head or in your heart, guests from all walks of life join the host, Chris Duffy, to uncover sharp insights and give clear takeaways on how you can actually be a better human. And so Chris is joining us now here in the studio to unpack the latest season and discuss the actionable takeaways that all of us can use uh, in our day-to-day -day lives. Welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm so happy to have you. So this is actually the third season. And the last time you were here, you were sort of excited about the challenge of you know taking those assumptions of what it means to be a better human right and and shaking it up a little bit so what do you see in this season absolutely i think this season we've gotten really deeper into hard issues right things like yeah. grief like loneliness like dealing with difficult people at work and in your life. And uh, I think as we get into the bigger challenges, we start to see even more how you can have humor, you can have fun, you can have connection, but you can still tackle these really hard things. Yeah, I, and I like that, I mean, you as a comedian, I know that humor is really important throughout all of this, but in each episode, you sort of learn through your guests, right? You hear about your guests' Absolutely. own experiences and their mistakes and the things that they do well. So what sort of topics can listeners look forward to in this next season? People can definitely look forward to hearing about um, how to take um, set boundaries at work how Ooh, that's a big one that's a big one right especially in jobs where you know it's demanding there's lots of competition things like there's all sorts of people that want to, to be in the space that your you're work at is 24 7 24 7 you get emails in the middle of the night yeah. it can be hard to draw a line and I think that figuring out like what are the healthy boundaries how to do those sorts of things I'm not very good at that at all and that's why it's really great to talk to people who know more about this than me as I, I referred to your podcast sort of as the no coddling zone. I mean, it was very real, matter of fact discussions. And there was one episode about grief. Mm -hmm. um, it was it was hard to listen to at times. It was sad, but it was very, very real. And the notation that death uh, is undefeated, mm -hmm. death always wins. Yeah. I think that's an important piece when you're dealing with something as, as hard as grief, right? Is that like, in the end, none of us make it out alive, right? So like, this is something that we're all gonna deal with, that we're gonna have people that we love that pass away. And, you know, I think sometimes people want to sugarcoat that and there can yeah. be this like nature of, of wanting to not talk about it or avoid the topic or just say like things are gonna be better. And something that I really value about our show and the conversations we get to have are sometimes we get to say there, there isn't a silver lining in every cloud. Right. Sometimes there's just a lot of clouds. Yeah. And that doesn't mean that you can't have humor and joy and and remember that there's still good things in the world, but it's okay to acknowledge the reality and not kind of have this toxic positivity idea that like everything's gonna be happy in the end. Well, tell me about the episode with Gretchen Rubin. I know that that was one of, uh, one of your favorites. Yeah, I love Gretchen. I think she is such an incredible um, author and she has so many great ideas about how we can like change our lives in small ways with like habits and making ourselves accountable, whether that's internally or externally. Um, Something that she talked about that I've been thinking a lot this year is she's like, people always make New Year's resolutions and then by this time in the year, they're, they're completely uh -huh. gone. We've forgotten even about them. Yeah. So instead of a resolution, she picks like a theme for her year. And so she, she said that her theme for this year was salt, which is like, okay, what does that mean exactly? And she's like, well, salt, it adds a little spice, it adds a little flavor, but also you need to put it in moderation. If you put too much in your food, it ruins it. So she's like, that's what I'm trying to do is add a little bit of spice to my, my life, but also pull back on the things that I'm doing too much of, which I love that as an idea of like taking a theme instead of a resolution. So do you have a theme for this year? My theme was warmth. Oh. So, because I think sometimes I get uh, caught up in trying to be cool. Like, I want to be cool, I want to be perceived as cool, and cool kind of keeps people away. Yeah, the laughter is really, the, that's the truth, right? No one who has ever taken me seriously when I try and be cool. But, but when I try and be warm, when I try and be like, maybe I can be someone where people can feel like welcomed and brought in, um, I think that's a lot more successful. And that's also the person that I want to be more, because look, it, no matter how hard I try to be cool, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, no, well, at least you know. <laughs> you agreed at right you away. Know. You're not supposed to agree right away. <laughs> so are you a better person after three years of doing this? I definitely think I'm better than I was. Am I better than other people? Absolutely not, but I'm, I'm improving. I think that's the idea, that you can do little pieces and it can change the way that you live your life. And I certainly have, have found that. 
Well, I love that. Thank you so much uh, for being here with us. And the How to Be a Better Human podcast is really, really fantastic. Worth a listen. High five for coming in the studio. Thank you so much yeah. for having me. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> so you can find How to Be a Better Human from TED and PRX anywhere you get your podcasts. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.